All right, we're back for problem 18 for the pre-calculus um, mock final exam. Uh, which of the following could be the graph of a polynomial? Could be. This is a difficult question. It's multiple choice. Uh, so it can only be one of these guys. OK, so an assumption needs to be made here about the viewing windows. Uh, for example, we don't know what the right side of this graph looks like. What if it comes back up like this? Or what if it, you know, arcs down like this, just off the window here? Well, then it definitely could be the graph of a polynomial. As it looks right now, it looks like an exponential. But what if off screen it's doing something that's polynomial in nature? So the assumption about the viewing windows is going to be that every needed characteristic, every necessary characteristic is shown. So what is shown is enough for you to say this is a polynomial or could be a polynomial. Because um, otherwise, this could be. There's polynomials that look like this. So we could just be seeing that. Uh, this could be. It could just look like that. Um, this one could be, I mean, it could just be like that. This one can't be. The reason that one can't be is because that's a really sharp point. That's called a cusp. Polynomials don't have cusps. So we can rule this one out safely. And if we assume that the window is showing you what you need to be shown, um, showing you the necessary characteristics, then the best choice is C. That looks like a cubic, doesn't it? Um, this looks like an exponential. This actually looks like a rational expression, I would say. And this is an absolute value function. Um, yeah, so listen, C, definitely C. Uh, yep, OK, we'll move on to the next problem then. Given this function, OK, we'll do, we'll do two here real quick. Given the functions. e to the x and 3 minus x find f of g of x. So this means we're going to plug g in to the function f. So this is e, and we're going to replace x with g of x. Okay, So that is e to the 3 minus x. So there we have it. Not too bad at all. Just got to remember what function composition means. Uh, and, and just to write it out, this means f of g of x. So we plug in the whole function to f of x. Okay. Uh, 20, find, express the domain of the function natural log of 3x plus 12 in interval notations. So these are intervals. Um, for natural logs, for all logs in general, we need to make sure that the input is bigger than 0. Okay, you can't plug a negative value into a logarithm. You can't plug 0 into a logarithm. If you think about the corresponding exponential problem, that'll make a lot of intuitive sense. But for now, we're just going to say this just has to be non. This just has to be positive. So we're going to solve this inequality. And that's going to tell us what the domain is. And then we'll put that in interval notation. So 3x subtracting 12 over has to be bigger than negative 12. Dividing by 3 on both sides, that's positive, so the inequality remains in its current orientation. And negative 12 over 3 is negative 4. So x has to be bigger than negative 4, which is this one. Negative 4 is on our left. We can't include it. And we can go up as big as we want. Any number bigger than negative 4. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll be back for 21 and some more after that.